guys, today we are going to be ranking all of my Juvia's Place palettes. So I have 10 of them right here. So I also have them in order of the way that I would like to talk about them. And I thought it would be harder to rank these than it actually was, but it turns out that I just kind of had my opinions already made up on the Juvia's Place palettes. I got this idea from Polina Beauty and I will link her up in the corner as well as link her video down in the description box if you want to check out her rankings. And our rankings are so vastly different and I thought that was so interesting. So. I think we should just get into it and I'm actually going to start off by my favorite Juvia's Place palette because I feel like it's pretty obvious which palettes that I like the most and it might be more interesting to see which palettes that I put on the bottom. So I think we're just going to start. So for my favorite Juvia's Place palette of all time, this is probably not going to come as a surprise to anybody, but this is the Zulu palette. And the reason for that is mainly just because it is a beautiful rainbow palette with very bright shades. I love all of the shimmers in this. The only shadow that I don't think performs that well is the purple, but I can absolutely make the purple work and I don't really have any issues with any of the other shadows. I do wish it didn't have a brown, but that's probably just my opinion and a lot of people like having a brown in a palette. So I'm sure this came as no surprise to any of you. Let me know down below if you thought that I had another palette as my top because I feel like it was pretty obvious. I did rank this as my second favorite palette of 2018 in my December countdown. So if you've been around for that long, you probably knew that this was going to be my favorite. So let's move on to my second favorite, which also made it into my top five palettes of 2018. And that's simply just because I bought this last year and I know it came out before that, but this is the Magic palette. So here is what it looks like. I think this palette is so beautiful. And one of the reasons why I like this palette so much is that it has a bit more of a variety in the mattes than a lot of the other palettes do. So you can see you have this, these two look both to be blue, but they're not. This one is purple and this one is blue. And you also have a bit of a pinker one and you have a brown and you have an orange. And I just like the kind of color combinations that you can come up with. And I also like the fact that it has a lot of very light shimmers. A lot of the Juvia's Place palettes don't have a lot of light shimmers in them. And I really enjoy being able to have a light inner corner highlights. So that's one of the reasons why I love this palette so much. And also this green is so unique to my collection. I don't think I have a green like this anywhere else. I think this is just like the perfect, just basic green shimmer. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just so beautiful. So those are going to be my top two. And again, I don't really feel like that comes as a surprise to anybody. Now, when we're moving into like number three and four and five and six, that's when I feel like it kind of muddies together a little bit because this is when it was harder for me to really rank them because I like all of the next ones just as much, you know? So for my third spot, this was really, really hard, but I ended up with the Tri palette because I love this. I think the color story in this is beautiful. And the only reason why this didn't make it any further up is because I feel like it's a little bit restricting in the kind of looks that you can do. You really only have like three kind of colors to work with. You have orange, brown, and green. So, you know, there's only so much you can do with those kind of colors, but with the Zulu palette and the Magic palette, you have all the options in the world and you also have more of a variety in the mattes. So for me, mattes are way more important than shimmers, even though I think that Juvia's Place's shimmer formula is the best out there. But for me, I need variety in my mattes and that is why this palette didn't make it any further up on the list because there are only so many looks that you can do with this palette. For the fourth spot, um, this was tough. I felt like I could have put a lot of palettes in the number four spot, but I ended up with the Masquerade palette and this is what it looks like if you have not already seen this. The reason why this one didn't make it further up is because there are just too many brown mattes and not enough colorful mattes. The only colorful mattes that are in here is the purple and the pink and also this orange, but this one has a little bit of glitter in it, which I'm not the hugest fan of, but in general, actually this one, the pink one does too. But I, I wish that there was a blue matte in this palette. I wish that there was maybe a green matte in this palette. I feel like having four brown mattes is a little bit much. And also I just don't get that much use out of these bottom shades right here, but all of these beautiful shimmers kind of make up for the fact that I don't use a lot of this palette, but I, I still think that this palette is so beautiful and some of the shimmers in here are just absolutely stunning. What am I even saying? Some of these shimmers? That is bullshit. All of these shimmers are absolutely stunning. And I really like the fact that Juvia's Place was able to make a half colorful, half neutral palette for the people who aren't that into color. I think this is a great beginner palette to get into color simply because there are a lot of neutral mattes to 
go with the shimmery colorful shades so I think this was a good choice for them to come out with and even as someone who loves color I still feel like I can get a lot of use out of this palette and I have used this quite a bit and I do really enjoy both of these matte colorful shadows down here again I do wish there were more colorful shadows but I always do mattes I mean I wish there were more colorful mattes because I always want more colorful mattes and less colorful neutrals so did that even make sense? I feel like that sentence was not even a real sentence. Because I always want more colorful mattes and less colorful neutrals, so... But I hope you get what I mean. <laughs> so for number five, this one was close between number five and number six, and I had them switched around quite a few times, but I ended up putting the festival palette as my number five spot because I think that this color story is so unique and I really haven't seen a lot of people rave about this palette enough. I really enjoy this palette. Honestly, the reason why I haven't been using this a lot lately is because I feel like with my hair color, this just doesn't really go. I mean, it's just a little bit much. I don't like having a red crease as much when I have red hair because I just feel like it's a bit just they're too close together. I don't know if I'm making any sense but I just feel like if I had a different hair color I would want to use this palette way more often because I like things to be contrasting more than matching when it comes to my eyeshadow and my hair. So that seems to simply the only reason why I have not reached for this that much but I think the color story in this is beautiful. I even brought this while traveling with me for Christmas and I got a lot of use out of it. I think this blue down here is stunning. I think this pink is stunning as well. I love this shade. I probably have green on my finger right now, but I love this shade so much. It's really hard to find like just a white shimmer and I think they nailed it. I think they nailed the formula on this. I think they nailed the color story. I wish more people talked about this because I think this is beautiful. You can get some really nice soft looks out of this as well, even though you wouldn't really think so. And you can also get some really nice, more intense looks as well, simply because you have this black. And this black can be used as a smoky eye with any color in the crease, and I love doing a look like that. So I love this palette a lot, and I'm like almost excited to change my hair color because I feel like I'll be getting more use out of this palette. So keep an eye out for that whenever my hair is something that's not in the red family. I will probably reach for this palette more. Now the next palette was the one that was fighting with the number 5 spot and this is the Afrique palette by Juvius. Why do I say it's by Juvius? It's clearly by Juvius because all of these palettes are by Juvius Place. Oh Alright, so well anyway, here is what the palette looks like. So you can see it's very bright, it's very colorful, it's got all of those colorful mattes that I absolutely love, but what is kind of pulling this down a little bit is that the quality of this palette is not as good as some of the other palettes. This blue here is pretty bad I'm not gonna lie and the yellow is also not that great every other shadow in this palette I have no issues with I did manage to mess this one up and I had to kind of repress it into the pan but all of these other shadows are beautiful I really like them but since the blue and the yellow just don't perform that well it's the only reason why I'm kind of pulling this palette down a little bit because it kind of leaves me just with the reds and the green and the brown so you know when you look at it that way you don't really have the blue and the yellow they're not that usable. I mean, they are, you know, you can pack them on, you can get some pigment, but they're not as easy to work with as a lot of the other Juvie's Place mattes. So that is simply the only reason why this made it only to the number six spot. And I feel like if those two shades performed better, this probably would have been in my top three, honestly, because I like the color story in this a lot more than I do in some of the other palettes. But that's the reason why that one ended a bit lower down on my list. So moving on, the last four, this is where it got a little bit dicey because I like all of these palettes. There are no Juvia's Place palettes that I have in my collection that I don't like. I probably forgot to say this in the beginning of the video, but I have 10 palettes. The only ones that I don't have are the two Warrior palettes as well as the first Nubian palette because those are just a little bit too neutral for me. And so the next one that I want to talk about is the Saharan palette, which is actually what is on my eyes today. And I did film this look and I will link that up in the corner because I do expect that video to be up first. Probably, if it is up first, it will be linked up in the corner. And this is what the palette looks like. I have not used this palette a lot and I need to use it more because I think it is stunning. Again, the only reason why this ended up a little bit lower down on the list because I feel like the shimmers in this palette are so stunning. I just wish that the mattes were a little bit different. I do really, 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 really like that they have a black in here. I wish more Juvia's Place palettes had a black matte because this black matte is actually so good. So easy to work with, blends super easily. 
I love me a good black, but I do wish that there was just a little bit of a different color story in this. I feel like maybe I would have liked for there to be a pink matte instead of an orange matte. So instead of this one, I would have probably preferred if this was a pink. Or maybe instead of this one, I would have liked this to be a pink. I don't know. I just feel like something is missing in this palette. But I get inspired by looking at this because it's a bit tricky. And whenever something is a little bit tricky for me, I really want to find a way to make it work. And if I feel that way about a palette, if I feel challenged by something, it usually means that I'm going to really like it because I do like me a good challenge. So I sat down and played with this today and I honestly... I got inspired to want to play more with it, and I can't say that about the next palette. So for spot number seven, I guess we're on? Wait, no, we're on spot number eight, and this is the Deuce palette. And the reason why this ended up in the number eight spot is simply because, like I said, I don't feel very inspired when I look at this palette. Like, I know what I can do with this palette, I know where this palette wants me to go, I get it, like, I get the whole theme of this, but these kind of colors right here just don't make me inspired. They don't make me want to sit down and play. They don't make me want to use this palette because the colors in here are just a little bit too boring. I don't know. They're just a little bit too on the neutral side. Yes, they're pretty and I've said this before to other people I think, but I love all of these shades individually, but when they're put into a palette together, I just it just doesn't spark anything within me and it doesn't make me want to sit down and use this palette. So that is why this palette ended up kind of low down on my list. Like I said, I do think it's a beautiful palette and some of these individual shadows in here are some of my favorites that Juvia's Place has ever made, especially the, uh, the green one in here. I think this one is so beautiful and so is this kind of duochrome white peachy pink shade. This is just... I mean, I just, I love this. It, I love, it's so pretty. So it's kind of a shame. I wish that I could depot all of my Juvia's Place palettes and just like make my own palette because I would use some of these shades so much more, but that is never going to happen because I want to keep my Juvia's Place palettes the way they are because they're special to me in a way. So let's move on to the bottom two now. So again, I just want to preface this with saying that I don't not like any of these palettes. I love all of my Juvia's Place palettes, but the color stories is what makes me not like something more than I like others. Did that sentence make sense? I think it did. But anyway, the next palette that I want to talk about is the Nubian 2. So this is what this palette looks like, and I can't even really put my finger on what I don't like about this. I think it's just because the neutrals, or because the mattes are a little too neutral for me, the only non-neutral matte that you have is this one right here, which is kind of like the same color as my tank top. So, you know, that one is on the colorful side, but it also doesn't really have any lighter colorful shadows. It's a very kind of dark, grungy palette, and I don't mind that, but I just, I feel like there's just something missing in this palette. I wish that it had some kind of a, maybe like a dark green or something to go with the green and this kind of like grungy, poopy shade. I don't know, there's just, there's something in this palette for me that is just missing and I don't even really know what else to say. I just feel like I don't get inspired by this as much as I feel like I should. So that is why this palette ended up in the number nine spot. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't feel anything when I look at it. I just, I don't get excited. And for my least favorite Juvia's Place, I was honestly kind of shocked by this, but I think this ended up being Polina's favorite palette, so sorry, but this is the Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's Place, and if you have not already seen this, this is what this palette looks like. Now, the reason why I don't like this palette that much is because I don't gravitate towards bronzy shades, so this one, this one... Not really a huge fan of this one, so sorry about the dog barking, but I'm just gonna get through this because I don't care. Uh, another reason is just that I feel like for this palette you're meant to do a brown crease with a pop of blue on the lid, and that is just a look that I feel like is so overdone. I feel like that was so 2018. Everybody was doing it, the big beauty gurus were doing it, and it's just the first thing that I see when I look at this palette is a brown crease with a pop of blue on the lid, and I just, I hate that look so much, I don't want to do it, and so just for that reason alone, I understand there are other shades in this palette that are absolutely beautiful. This one right here is stunning. This one is also stunning. All of the shades in this palette are beautiful on their own, but 
it's just it's just that when I see this palette, it just brings me back to like 2018 beauty guru reviews and like basically every mainstream brand came out with a neutral palette with a pop of blue and it's just I can't see past that. <laughs> so that's the only reason why this ended up in my number 10 spot and I do really like this palette still. I've said this before and I would love to use this palette in a palette bingo or something along with another palette so that I can get away from that like brown crease with a pop of blue that's popping up in my head that I just can't get rid of. So yeah, those would be all of my rankings with my Juvia's Place palettes. If you have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes, I would love to hear your rankings down in the comments. If you have a channel, I would love to hear it in a video because I, I want to see other people do this because I find it so interesting because so many people have almost a whole Juvia's Place collection that I would like to hear you guys' thoughts. So if you have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes, either let me know down in the comments or please make a video and then let me know so I can watch it because I'm just so nosy, like I would like to know. So yeah, that's going to sum up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you were surprised or not or if you kind of figured that this was the direction that I was going in. So yeah, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye!